In today's class, we will learn about two important network theorems in electrical network, which are Thevenin's theorem and Norton's theorem. Before we apply these theorems in simplifying an electrical network, we have to learn that why we need to use these theorems. Suppose in an electrical network, we have a passive element which is variable and rest of the elements in that network are fixed. So, if we need to analyze that electrical network repeatedly, then without analyzing the same network again and again, what we can do is, other than that variable component, the rest of the network can be replaced by a single energy source and a single resistor. Now, if we apply Thevenin's theorem, then that energy source is a voltage source and with that voltage source, that single resistor that I talked about, is connected in series and if we apply Norton's theorem then in the equivalent circuit the energy source will be a current source and with that that single resistor will be connected in parallel and definitely with that that variable component will be there in the circuit now this concept will be more clear if we learn these theorems with examples so first we will learn Thevenin's theorem so first we will go by the statement of that theorem it says that any two terminal linear bilateral DC network consisting of independent energy sources can be replaced by an equivalent circuit consisting of a voltage source which we denote by VTH and a series resistor which we denote by RTH connected in series. So first of all the network is a two terminal linear bilateral DC network. Now it's not mandatory that we can only apply this Thevenin and Norton's theorem only for DC network. No, we can also apply for AC network as well. And also it's not that the energy sources will be always independent sources. They can be dependent sources as well. And also the element which is variable in nature that can be also linear as well as non-linear element. Now, Apart from that variable component, as I said, in case of Thevenin's theorem, the rest of the circuit will be replaced by a single voltage source, which is denoted by VTH. Now the suffix TH, it stands for Thevenin's theorem. And along with that voltage source, a single resistor will be connected in series and that is noted by RTH. From that name Thevenin's, this TH suffix has come. This VTH is open circuit voltage across the concerned or output terminals means between the terminals where that variable component is connected. And RTH is the equivalent or internal resistance of the network when we are looking from the concerned or output terminals, again the terminals between which that variable component is connected with all the energy sources deactivated. Now, in case of energy source, if we suppose have voltage source, then that voltage source is short circuited. And if there is a current source, then that current source is open circuited. And if these energy sources have their internal resistances, then those internal resistances will be leaving behind in the circuit while deactivating the energy part. Now in this circuit, what we can see is this RL, this is a variable component and other than this RL, the rest of these four registers, they are fixed. So the voltage values are also fixed. Now what we can do is, suppose if we mark these two terminals as AB, other than this variable resistance or component RL, the rest of the circuit which we have on the left side of this dotted line, that can be replaced by a single voltage source VTH and a single resistor RTH and this VTH and RTH will be connected in series with each other. Now how to find this VTH which we are saying that it is the open circuit voltage across the concerned or output terminals and how to find RTH when we look from the concerned terminal that we will understand in better way by the help of an example. And after applying this theorem, the final or equivalent circuit will look like this, where this voltage source is nothing but our VTH and this resistor is nothing but RTH. These two are connected in series and with that, this RL which were connected between these two terminals, AB, 
this rl will be also connected with rth or we can say rth and vth in series so this will be the final or equivalent circuit after applying seven inch theorem now we will understand that theorem by the help of this example where we have a dc circuit where we have three resistors and two energy sources one of them is a current source and the other one is voltage source and we have to thevenize this circuit with respect to this three ohm resistor so we will mark these two terminals as a b so we will take this as our variable component variable resistor or load resistor and other than this resistor we will thevenize the rest of the part so when we will thevenize or we will find the thevenins equivalent circuit with respect to this three ohm resistor in the first step what we will do is we will remove this concerned resistor from the circuit so after removing that concerned resistor which is 3 ohm in our case the circuit will look like this so we will create an open circuit or open path between these two terminals a b now our next task is to find the voltage difference between these two terminals which is supposed to be the open circuit voltage or VTH, Thevenin's equivalent voltage. Now to find that VOC or VTH, the conventional methods that we know like KVL, KCL, we will apply here. Now if we look at this circuit closely and if we analyze, then we can see that between these two terminals AB, the six volt voltage source is also connected. That means between these two terminals, the voltage drop or voltage value is how much? It is six volt. So that is the way how we can find uh, the open circuit voltage particularly in this problem otherwise suppose in place of this voltage source suppose if we had a resistor then what we would have done we would have applied kvl in this case here we can see that we have a current source here and with that current source we have a resistor connected in parallel so easily we can transform this current source into its equivalent voltage source so in the modified circuit we will have a voltage source here and with that voltage source the same register having value 2 ohm will be connected in series and then we will finally have a single loop or mesh where we can apply the concept of kvl and we can form an equation and from there we can easily find out the current value which will be flowing in that modified circuit and from there we can find the voltage drop between these two terminals so we have several approach so whichever will be convenient and time saving method that we will apply to find voc or vth now after finding VOC or VTH, next we find the Thevenin's equivalent resistance or RTA. So for that what we do is, as I said, first after removing the concerned resistor, we will create open terminals between these two points A, B and we will also deactivate energy sources. And what is the rule of deactivation? If there is a voltage source, then that voltage source will be simply sorted as we can see here and if there is a current source then that current source will be open circuited so those two terminals between which the current source was connected they will be kept open as we can see here now if those voltage sources or current sources have internal resistances then those internal resistances will be left behind only the energy part will be deactivated now since this voltage source and current source they didn't have any internal resistance so simply this voltage source was sorted otherwise in place of voltage source we would have had here its internal resistance similarly in case of current source its internal resistance we would have connected in parallel with its open path now for this particular circuit we have only two resistances next what we will do is we will look from the open terminals towards the circuit where we have only resistances or only passive elements and we don't have any energy part so when we will be looking from this side we will start simplifying from this side now we can see here that between with respect to these two terminals if we now analyze and if we find the equivalent resistance then this two ohm and this two ohm they are connected in series so easily we can find the equivalent resistance if you want to know 
more about this simplification or solution i have separated classes for thevenin's theorem and norton's theorem you can always refer those classes the links are given in the description box now after finding vth and rth what we will do is we will connect the rl that we removed in the first step with that equivalent circuit so this will be our vth and this will be our rth they will be connected in series and then we will connect back the load register or the variable register that we had in the circuit with that thevenin's equivalent voltage and resistance so this is how we apply thevenin's theorem to simplify an electrical network next we will see how we can apply norton's theorem before that we will go by the statement of that theorem it says that any two terminal linear bilateral dc network consisting of independent energy sources can be replaced by an equivalent circuit consisting of a current source in and a resistor rn connected in parallel so the statement of norton's theorem and thevenin's theorem are same both are applicable for two terminal linear bilateral network but it's not mandatory that this is only applicable for dc network it can be also applicable for ac network as well as i said in case of thevenin's theorem also and also the energy sources that we have in that electrical network they are independent no along with independent sources we also may have dependent sources now the only difference is here other than that variable component the rest of the part of the circuit is represented finally by a single current source instead of voltage source that we have seen in case of thevenin's theorem so now what is in and rn in is the short circuited current through the concerned or output terminals in case of thevenin's theorem we had open circuit voltage between those open terminals here basically after removing the concerned resistor or the variable component we short that path instead of keeping those two terminals open and then we find that how much current is flowing through that shorted path and rn is what rn has the similar meaning that we have seen in case of rth it is the equivalent or internal resistance of the network when we are looking from the concerned or output terminals with all the energy sources deactivated and replaced by their internal resistance again the rule of deactivation is same as we have seen earlier now this will be more clear with example this is a dc network where we have two independent energy sources one of them is voltage source and the other one is current source we have four and plus one five registers and among these five registers this one is our variable register which is connected between the terminals av so other than this register the rest of the part of the circuit that i have or we have on the left side of this dotted line can be replaced by a single current source which is in and a single resistor which is rn and in and rn will be connected in parallel then after finding this equivalent part of this circuit we connect back the load register or concerned register with that norton's equivalent circuit and then we find the desired response of the circuit this concept will be more clear by the help of an example here we have a circuit where we have three resistors we have two current sources among these five elements this 3 ohm register is variable and the rest of the elements are fixed so what we can do is if we mark these two terminals as a b then other than this 3 ohm register the rest of the circuit can be replaced by a single current source and single register which will be connected in parallel and then with that norton's equivalent circuit we will connect this 3 ohm register again in parallel so in the first step we will remove this load or concerned register from the circuit and we will make this path between a and b shorted so after removal of that load register the circuit will look like this so between a b we now we have a shorted path and through that path we will find that how much current is flowing and that will be our i n now again we know all the conventional methods kbl kcn and all to simplify this type of circuit so if you want to know more about this then you can refer my videos on thevenin's and norton's theorem 
then after finding this i n what we do is we deactivate all the energy sources to find r n so from the circuit we have removed this current source and between these two terminals the current source was connected so we have kept that path open and also this current source was connected between these two terminals so after removing that current source we have kept that path also open and what we will do next is we will look from the side where that load register was connected means between these two terminals and we will simplify that circuit and finally we will find the equivalent resistance which will be Rn. So what we will do is we will start simplifying that circuit from the opposite side. So with respect to AB now if we think then two and these two these two registers are connected in series so easily we can find Rn. And after finding IN and RN, what we will do next is this IN and RN will be connected in parallel. And with that Norton's equivalent circuit, we will connect back that load register which we disconnected in the first step. So this will be our modified circuit. And this equivalent circuit or modified circuit is same as the original circuit that we had initially. Now from this modified circuit, we can easily find the desired response. So this is how we can apply Norton's theorem to simplify an electrical network. So I hope this class was interesting and meaningful for you. With that hope I end today's class. Stay safe and stay healthy. Thank you.